Today we're going to play a five ball game of El Dorado by Gottlieb. This is an EM machine and it's really good at um, if you're new to pinball and you don't know how scoring works. Uh, this is a good way to introduce you to some uh, pinball terms and how simple scoring can work. So basically, uh, this is a five ball game. Um, you can do a three or five. But what you want to do here is the objective is to get a special which uh, will award replays. And the way to do that on a five ball game on this table is to complete the lower and upper drop targets. And after that is done, the special will be lit at the top and hitting it will award the special. Um, you'll also notice on the table um, that certain parts of the table are lit and when they're lit they award more points as opposed to being unlit and if you read the instructions on this table, you will find that the lit, the lamps that are lit move clockwise um, each time you hit the move spot target or the lamp in the middle there that's lit red. So every anytime the ball goes over there or hits <clears throat> that move spot target, it will move the the lamps around the rollover. Um, so as you can see here, we need one more drop target at the top to light the special. Um, the pop bumpers, depending on the game, of 3 ball or 5 ball, uh, will give 1,000 or 100. So they're giving 100 in this case. There we go. As you can see, the special has been lit at the top. In order to get it, We'll have to hit that drop target. And we got it. You can see that we got it because you'll see under where it says ball five, it says three. So it awards us three replays. Now four, you can see. But. The TPA version of this game <clears throat> does not award replays, but the real life version does. But the reason I like this table is it's it's not a hard table. In my opinion, um, very easy rules, clear objectives, and when you know how the table works you know it's it's um, it's a nice thing when you can memorize oh that's lit I need to hit that you're not and you're not in the dark you know But you can change uh, 
for this table, you can change how many balls. You can do three or five. And the settings. The rules change just a little bit, but not much. And uh, there's a little spot target <clears throat> at the top of the bottom bumper that awards a thousand points when hit. Oh, one thing to note too is be careful about tilting on this table because this table is one strike, you're out. So just be cautious of that. It may not do it on this machine, I mean on this version, but the real life version does do that. I have bread. And also notice whenever the ball goes over the red lamp in the middle, I want you to notice that the, the the lights are moving to the right. The spot targets. And that's something that you'll notice. Moved again right there. Let's try this gold ball here. I do have a video of the El Dorado City of Gold, which is from the 80s, but I personally, I, I like them both, but actually I really like this one a lot more. This one, for me, this one seems to be easier. And um, if you're wondering about more scoring, miscellaneous scoring, the slingshots give 10 points. The switches behind the drop targets give 10 points. So they're not very lucrative. You know, the, really to get a good score on El Dorado, it's just keeping the ball in play. Because you can try hitting only the lit, you know, rollovers or drop targets, but you'll hit them most likely just by keeping the ball in play. Instead of trying to so look at the one underneath where it says ball three that is the amount of replays so if you notice that go up that goes up You've been awarded a special. The special is lit at the top there. <clears throat> so 
So the reason we're not getting a special is because we have to hit the lit drop target. And it moves when we go over the spot target, move spot. We got it there, as you can see, because it went up from one to two. Now, it remains lit for the duration of the game. And you can get a total of nine replays on the real table. So if we hit the left switch there, it'll award us um, a replay. Just want to see if I can get another one. There you go, we got three. And you want to use the flippers at the top to kind of help you hit those lit spot targets. Drop targets, excuse me. And if you can, if you can maneuver the right flippers, it can be very advantageous for completing the bank. Okay, so you'll notice the special is not lit yet because we still have two banks of dro two drop targets at the top, and we didn't get any special. That's why it says zero. Well, guys, thanks for watching El Dorado. I hope you learned a little bit how to, how to play it. It's a pretty interesting table, very simple, calming EM table. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.